I've always been a great movie buff and Friday nights my household are famous for pizza and a great movie. And yes, I do put pineapple on my pizza and I love it. Now one of my all time favorite movies is The Lord of the Rings. It's a three part series about mystical realms of dwarves, elves and humans fighting their way to destroy a mysterious ring. Whoever carries the ring will possess powers that allow them to take control over the realms. So in case you haven't seen the movie, I'm gonna play about three seconds of it, because why not? One ring to rule them all. Unlike Lord of the Rings, there is no one property to rule them all. Each property will have something unique to offer based on its type, location, attributes, and age. In this episode, I'm going to share client stories their background, their fears and concerns, and the type of property that they ended up buying. And I hope that you can relate with one of them. The last story is my favorite, so make sure you stick to the end of this video. Hi, my name is Roy and welcome to Roy Talks Property. On this channel, we'll discuss everything related to property investing, property finance, and the different strategies available for you today to build wealth through property. If this is of interest to you, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified every time we upload a video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Serious property investors don't buy a property without having a clear strategy. What might work for a 24 year old property investor who still lives with his or her parents may not work for someone who is in their mid 40s, married and with a couple of kids and a mortgage. There is no magical property that works for everyone. This is why it's important to map out an acquisition strategy before you go out and purchase an investment property. So if you want to book a master strategy with me, book it using one of the links below. The first story is about Jesse. Jesse works in the construction industry and lives in Sydney. On the weekends, Jesse runs a small concreting business. So safe to say he's a very busy young man. Jesse lived with his family and took advantage of the fact that he does not have a mortgage or rent in order to maximize his, max, his borrowing capacity and start building a property portfolio. Being his first property, he was nervous about building the property and wanted to inspect a few properties that the builders that we work with have built. We obviously organized the inspections and once he was comfortable, he then purchased a house and land package. Jesse purchased a house and land package in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales for just under 600,000. It was a four bedroom, two bathroom, double garage house, and today it's valued at just under 800,000. Now, obviously Jesse could have spent his deposit money to travel the world, buy himself a nice car, etc. but he chose to play the long-term game and start building a property portfolio. Someone like Jesse who started investing at the age of 24, I would expect him to be financially independent by the time he's 35 years old. You can pause this video if you like to read the details of his purchase at your own pace. The second story is about Vikram. Vikram is a brilliant IT specialist running his own business and whilst he's great at doing his job, his business structure wasn't very efficient and that made it more difficult for him to get lending. So we introduced Vikram to one of the brokers that we work with. Then the broker liaised closely with the accountant to organize the tax return, BAS statements and so forth so Vikram can qualify for lending. Vikram always thought that he would buy a home first before investing in property. And in the master strategy session, we ran both scenarios, buying a home versus buying an investment property and building a property portfolio and compared the returns over a 10 year period. Then Vikram opted for buying a property and starting to build a property portfolio. By the way, if you wanna find out more about rent vesting, why that's very important in today's day and age, check out this video. Vikram ended up purchasing an established house in South Australia for 400,000 and some change. And within 12 months, the property increased in value by about 175,000. The deposit required was only 65,000, excluding the buyer's agent fee. And obviously you can pause the video if you wanna read the returns at your own pace. The last story is one of my favorite because it's a scenario that I come across often where an individual or a couple living in Sydney or Melbourne, very busy with their careers, their lives and so forth, overlook the opportunity of investing in other markets around Australia. Living in Sydney, you might think that property ownership is very expensive and that you have to make serious cutbacks to your lifestyle in order to afford property ownership. In reality, there are great markets around Australia that are still quite affordable. So if you wanna find out more, reach out through one of the links below or just drop me an email. So, Russell and Frank, they're a married couple 
They love their Sydney coastal lifestyle and they did not feel that they can afford to buy a home where they rented. And they kind of gave up on the idea of property ownership altogether. When they met one of our strategists, they were able to explain to them that there are other markets around Australia, obviously, that they can purchase with a neutral to positive cash flow, and that would have a zero impact on their current lifestyle, which was a major concern of theirs. Rosalie and Frank opted to purchase a dual key property in Queensland for around 500,000 back in 2020. And guess what? they bought that property during the New South Wales lockdown. The property at the time took seven months to build and now it's valued at over 700,000. You can pause the video to read the returns at your own pace. Obviously, the market has changed since 2020 and there are still great markets to invest in to get similar returns like Rosalie and Frank. If you wanna find out more about these markets, make sure to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, if you've received any value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Thanks again for watching and I really appreciate your support. I'll talk to you again soon.